have a little faith. Put Cheryl on the phone. No. You're finished talking to Cheryl. <laughs> Listen to that tone of authority. Just like your published work, Agent Gideon. Fascinating to hear the same arrogant quality in your own voice. You are a bit of a pedant, Jason. A bit didactic. Well, that's a very interesting conclusion. You sound intelligent, and you certainly sound educated. We both know that's not true. Well, I know all about all of you. The ambitious Agent Hotchner. Do you want to be director of the FBI someday, Agent Hotchner? Would you step on Jason Gideon to get there? I think you would. Post-traumatic stress is a very good excuse. Even your sick, pregnant wife can't get you to leave your post. Jason Gideon, an expert in the criminal psyche, yet unable to diagnose the autistic leanings of the very insecure Dr. Reed. Well, maybe he can make money counting cards in Las Vegas. The lovely Elle was promoted too soon. She doesn't have what it takes to make it in the BAU Boys Club. You're no threat to me. You're no threat to anyone. And token Derek Morgan wants to be taken seriously, but he is just a pumped up side of beef. I know who you are. I know how you think. And I know what to do next. Do you. What the hell was that? Why did he say that he knows what to do next? Is he going to hurt my daughter? He was grandstanding. You don't know that. You, you can't possibly know that. Mr. Davenport, I have learned more in the last five minutes than in the last 24 hours. Oh, really? Well, I don't understand. Why is he focused on you right now? Because we are interfering in his relationship with the girls. I band. said put it down. Patricia. Location. I imagine she found some creative way to persuade him. What do you think? You know, you know maybe you just don't need to ask so many questions. Just, just enjoy the moment. Okay. 